I am Will Scott. Welcome into Celtics today. We have some breaking news and some bad news here for the Boston Celtics. Danilo Gallinari appears to have suffered a serious knee injury at the FIBA World Cup qualifiers in Europe. He's playing for Team Italy. They were playing Team Georgia. Here's what happened, according to Cesare Malate, an Italian sports writer. Danilo Gallinari left the game in the fourth quarter of the Italy-Georgia game do what seems to be a really serious left knee injury. Worst news possible. That coming from Cesare Malate talking about Danilo Gallinari. We're going to go through some pictures here because it was a non-contact injury, which appear uh, to be pretty significant more often than not. So Gallinari was on the ground holding his knee, surrounded by his coaches, uh, by his teammates. This is late in the fourth quarter of that game. He was driving to the basket, moving left to right, grabbed his knee, lost the ball. We see here kind of what happened on that drive as he kind of his knee was bent, his left knee. Again, this is a left knee injury, a non-contact injury in the fourth quarter of the FIBA World Cup qualifier game. And we're going to have you covered with Celtics News, which is why you should go down and subscribe to the channel when Celtics News breaks, regardless of where I'm at. We're going to get you guys a video. So go down and subscribe. And when we know the severity of this Gallinari injury, we're going to get you guys a video talking about what this means for the Boston Celtics going forward. Go down and subscribe. Help us get to 13,000 subscribers. Now this next photo is a little bit graphic, so viewer discretion uh, certainly advised. We're going to get to that in three seconds, two, one. Here is that picture. Uh, so yeah, it does not look good. It's a left knee. We kind of see the knee uh, looking kind of screwed up there as he was about to shoot, it appears. He was on a drive to the basket, so that not looking good. However, we do have this update from Sean Serrania of The Athletic, this coming in just a few minutes ago. Initial exams on Celtics Ford, Danilo Gallinari's left knee, show that the ACL is stable. That's very good news. Full test to come with an MRI on Sunday. Sources tell The Athletic and Stadium. Good news early. So at first, it appeared to be a gruesome knee injury, a non-contact knee injury, during that World Cup qualifier game. But we did just receive a positive update from Sean Serrania of The Athletic that the initial exams appear that the ACL is intact. Again, an MRI will confirm the severity of this injury tomorrow. He is set to get an MRI tomorrow. He signed with the Celtics in July after being waived by San Antonio. He was involved in that DeJounte Murray trade, which sent Murray from San Antonio to Atlanta. However, he never was going to play for the Spurs. That was always the plan to waive him, and he signed with the Celtics in July. Signed a two-year, $13 million deal. Actually turned down more money from Chicago to sign with the Celtics, and I don't know if you follow Danilo on Twitter, but he's very excited to be a Celtic, wants to compete for a championship. He knew his best chance to win a championship was to sign with Boston. That is why he did sign with the Celtics, and he's expected to have a pretty big role on this Celtics team. The Celtics coming into this offseason had a few team needs, the two biggest being perimeter shooting and depth down low. Gallinari is a big man that can shoot, so if he's out for extended time, that would be a really big blow for a Boston team that's expected to compete for a championship again this season. What is your one-word reaction to this news? Again, a knee injury for Gallinari. However, initial exams, according to Sean Serrania, that the ACL appears to be intact. What is your one-word reaction to the news that we have been hearing this afternoon about Gallinari? Go down to the comments section chime in. Let me know your one-word reaction. It is the pinned comment on today's video. So when that break comes, go down, chime in. Taking a look here at the Celtics' power forward situation. So the good news is they have a lot of depth here, right? Al Horford, Grant Williams, those are going to be your two main guys at that position. Danilo Gallinari, you sign him. He's going to be in this rotation. Sam Hauser re-signed on a multi-year deal after showing some promise in his rookie season. He played with Maine and Boston, spent most of the latter part of the season with Boston, though, and looked good. And then you bring in Bruno Caboclo, who was the MVP of the Brazilian Professional League last season. 
You bring him in on a camp deal, as well as Noah Vonley. Those two guys going to be competing for the last three spots on the Celtics roster. The Celtics have 12 players right now on guaranteed deals, which means they have three open roster spots. Caboclo and Vonley expected to be competing for those open spots. So you have some depth here, which is good. So let's say Gallinari just misses maybe the first couple weeks of the season. Then maybe at that point, you don't have to go out and sign someone else to replace him if it's not super long term. But if you do go and sign somebody else, here are the available free agents. Trevor Ariza, Blake Griffin, Mamadi Diakite, Jabari Parker, and Gary Clark remain available. Blake Griffin obviously being the biggest name on that list. However, it's going to be tough to replace Gallinari if he's out in limited time. It's going to be tough this late in free agency to find what he brings to the table. A big man that can shoot the three that's lethal shooting the basketball and also is a pretty good defender as well. Now, should the Celtics sign a power forward? Type Y for yes or type N for no down in the comment section. Should the Celtics sign a power forward if the Gallinari injury is serious? Go down and let me know. Again, Blake Griffin is available. A very big name this late in free agency. Big name because what he did earlier in his career. He's not the same player. He's not the guy that we saw with the Clippers. But he's still a decent option off the bench. Here's what he did in Brooklyn last year. 6.4 points per game, 1.9 assists per game, 4.1 rebounds per game, shot 42.5% from the floor. Griffin's still available. He's not the shooter that Gallinari is, but he's still a decent option to come off the bench if you were to bring him in. It would certainly be a lot of fun. But do you want to sign Blake Griffin? Type S for sign or type P for pass down in the comment section. Do you want to sign Blake Griffin if Gallinari is, has, has, I should say, a serious injury? Do you want Griffin to be his replacement? Type S for sign or type P for pass. We're still learning more information about what's coming out. So we saw a photo emerge on Twitter a few minutes ago. Gallinari in the locker room after the win. It was a 91-84 to win for Italy over Georgia in the World Cup. Qualifier was a close game. Gallinari was injured with about five minutes left in the fourth quarter. We saw him being embraced by coaches and players in the locker room. He had an ice pack on his left knee. He was standing up. I'm not a doctor, but at least he's up and moving around a little bit. Uh, so that's good news as well. And the ACL appears to be intact. That coming from the initial test. Now, type the prayer emoji down in the comments to show love to Danilo because we certainly hope the injury is not as bad as it looked in the photos. And again, good news that the ACL is intact. We will know more after the MRI tomorrow. We will plan on getting you guys a video when we do receive more news on Danilo Gallinari. And be sure to subscribe. Turn on your notifications because that is the best way to stay in the loop with Boston Celtics news.